What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. We really appreciate you guys if you would uh, subscribe, comment, and like this video. Because in this video, we are going to show you two videos that are evidence that Joe Biden was having someone in an earpiece telling him what to say during the debate. Yeah, this is uh, beyond comprehension for me that it's real, but let's take a look. All right, before I bring up the first video, just let you guys know this video has him actually scratching his, uh, near his ear. It looks like he's messing with his earpiece. The news from two days ago, on tape to her daughter, who is a documentary filmmaker, they say. But she's saying, oh, no, it's my responsibility. I was responsible for this because I offered her 10,000 soldiers or National Guard, and she turned them down. And the mayor of... You know, he's looking, his eyes were looking up and to the left, like one direction, solid. And to me, that makes me think he is getting instruction because that's what you do when someone's, you know, when you're thinking through something. When you're when you're trying to figure out what to say, your eyes aren't going to lock up and to the left. That's yeah. a weird physiological thing, but um, I couldn't see the earpiece in that, but definitely he was fiddling with something. I think it's the angle is that where you can't see it. But the other thing also is whenever you're hearing something and you have an earpiece, you're going to look on the side of the earpiece you can hear. Right. There will be a tendency to do that. Yeah, these are all, um, you know, they're body language. So they're, and I'm picking up on it. There's something going on here. Now, the second video is this guy who actually decided to deconstruct the, uh, the audio because he says, I can hear something in between uh, 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 Trump speaking and Biden speaking, where it sounds like someone's telling him what to say. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. How crazy. During the debate, this guy and his wife noticed something really weird in Joe Biden's audio. Check this out. I swear to God, I heard someone say something. Let's see what your numbers are when the selection is over. Let's see. You're a whiner. Oh, my God. So I wanted to take a deeper look at it. So I brought it into Ableton so we can look at the part in between the words when this is over and we'll see. And you can see right here, there's actually some audio. It sounds like somebody's actually speaking and telling Joe what to say. So let's enlarge that and take a listen. So you can see right here, somebody's telling Joe what to say. Oh my God. And this is not to sway you in either way, but this is just showing you a discovery that was made. But what do you guys think? Was Joe being fed lines while he was doing the debate? Now in the video, he's saying, uh, you hear, we will see before he says, we will see. Yeah. Um, and I, I really, you know, look at, if he's got the the earpiece in and it's flesh colored, he'd probably only put it in one ear and it would be the ear away from Donald Trump so that Trump couldn't look to the side and see it. That's what I was thinking right away. But I just I sort of, uh, I guess, have a hard time believing that somebody at home picked this up. Yeah, yeah the guy had good enough hearing his wife did where they could hear it and. Uh, I'm surprised, too. And this guy actually deconstructed it where you could hear it through the volume with the uh, uh, with the editing service he has. Uh, I, I thought about actually getting the clip and checking it for myself and see if I could hear it that way. I have some hearing issues. So obviously, I'm not going to hear it by just listening. I didn't hear it the night of. So i uh, going to have to take a look at it for myself. But I actually believe that this is probably what happened because... Uh, he seemed to be confused during this debate. And this would explain why he's confused, because he's thinking at the same time someone's talking to him. That's right. While he's in the middle of a debate, and it's all just too much at his age and with his mental condition. So I was thinking from Joe Biden's perspective, and in 2020, he could have done a lot better job at the debates. He was almost as big a disaster then. And I got to thinking like, if you're going to have an earpiece, the rules that Biden put forth of cutting the microphones, but he put it off on CNN like they were asking for it. Well, Biden's excuse in 2020 to his handlers would have been, Trump keeps interrupting. Trump keeps talking. I can't hear you. You know, the, the guy talking in his ear. 
so maybe CNN set this up to keep Trump quiet so that he could hear and he could concentrate and say what the person in his ear was saying. That seems highly plausible to me. It's not beyond what we would expect from Joe Biden. That would be my major point here. We would expect that Joe would have every bit of help he could get. He set the debate up so that it would be, you know, to his exact conditions. CNN moderated it. They had the whole turn the microphone thing off, which totally worked against Joe. He would have been better if Trump was interrupting. It could have gave him some cover. But instead, he looks like a mental meatball. Yeah, and I got to say, the mic picked it up, picked up that that sound. That's a pretty good mic. You know, uh, I'm not I don't know anything about the particular mic they had. But in order for them to pick up the sound, it had to be uh, turned up way up for them to actually pick it up and pick it up that well. And uh, even whenever uh, you had both of them try to interrupt each other and you couldn't hear them, you could actually hear them a little bit with the other mic. So. Right, right. So this is totally within the realm of possibilities. Yes. And let's just say uh, Trump is further away from that mic than Biden, Biden's earpiece would be that it has the sound coming out. Right, right. Well, I mean, we expected him to get a little help from his friends. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We'll be live Monday morning at 930 Central Standard. Join us. Have a wonderful rest of your day.